In this example, we're given two statements again. P, banana bread is delicious. Q, bacon is delicious. And we're going to take each of these symbolic forms of statements and rewrite them in words. So we're translating now from symbolic form into English. The first one says P and then has this downward pointed wedge, the V, which represents or. So P or Q. So all we do is replace P with its statement. Then include the word or. And then write in Q. So we get the statement, banana bread is delicious or bacon is delicious. And of course, there are several different ways you could phrase that in English, but this is the simplest one. You could say either banana bread or bacon are delicious and other variations, but it's just as simple as that. Replace each statement with its English form and then replace the V with or. For the second one, we have not P or Q. So we first negate P we could, for instance, write, banana bread is not delicious. Then, or, bacon is delicious. You could also say, it is not true that banana bread is delicious, or it is true that bacon is delicious. And there are other variations on that, but that's the simplest form. Notice the next one. We have P and Q in parentheses, and then not in front of all of that. So we're going to start with the statement P and Q, and then negate the whole thing, not just negate one piece of it. So we'll start with banana bread. and bacon are delicious. And then we'll negate that. So we'll say banana bread and bacon are not delicious. You could say it is not true that banana bread and bacon are both delicious. Um, there are, again, different variations on that. But this is one version of that. Notice again that we first wrote P and Q and then negated that whole compound statement. For the next one, we have not P or not Q, each individually. So for this, I can negate the first one. Then write or and negate the second one. One thing to notice at the end of this problem is that parts C and D are actually equivalent statements. That may be difficult to see with the way that they're written right now, but in order to negate the statement that both of them are delicious, all that we need to prove is that one of them at least is not delicious, either banana bread or bacon. So saying not P and Q is the same as not P or not Q. This will come back later when we talk about De Morgan's laws, and we'll notice that those two statements are equivalent in general, but here we can see an early example of this.